Hey, no students, happy Friday. Going to talk about where I'm at today, a little uh, review about what we've done so far in the book and what you're doing this Friday. Hey, this is uh, uh, a rural area in Kenya, and these are the types of places we're going. This is uh, uh, the air, one of the areas, Wamigo, and uh, uh, helping some folks there that really need it. Um, this is an example of a store right here, if you can believe this. Um, the Ultimate Investments is the name of the store. Check this out. That's the store, okay, that's plotted on Google Maps, Maps the ultimate investments. Pretty pretty bleak, right? Um, not a lot there, but the pace of life is definitely a lot slower in these parts of Kenya. Um, you know, they have a lot more time on their hands, and um, it just feels different. If you've ever been to a large city or a small city, um, there's a big difference between San Francisco or L.A. and Merced, California. Um and so that's a little bit of what chapters nine and 10 get into a little bit here. So I'm going to talk about some of these things, really briefly review this. This is something like what you should have gotten um, as you filled in yours. Make sure that you don't just go back and copy this. It was due last night at 11 o'clock. So make sure you're turning it in. That's how I'm going to check off assignments. If you're not sure just on an answer, just put, I don't know. And this is why, okay. I need to just give it an attempt, but we can see that grandmother Baxter has, has shown up in the scene. And Maya and Bailey have been dropped off by their, their father and dropped off. They've seen their mother, okay, who is named, who they call mother. And uh, they, they're dropped off in, um, in St. Louis. And this is a much faster place as opposed to Sam's, which is slow and conservative. It's, it's fast and liberal, and it, it's, it speeds up the pace of the text. Uh, Maya's experiencing things she's never experienced before, going from a small family to a large family. Here are just some of the people that are mentioned. You've got... People coming and going. You have the boyfriend, Mr. Freeman, Uncle Tommy, Billy, Pat Patterson, Uncle Willie. Um, there isn't there, of course, but Uncle Tootie, uh, Tom, and Ira are, are all there, and they're coming and going outside, inside, and outside the house. And of course, Grandmother Baxter, which we mentioned, um, and so lots of stuff going on here. So a large, a large family. Um, and stamps are religious and law-abiding, whereas there's less focus on religion and there's a lot more unlawfulness happening in St. Louis at this time. It says that there's prohibition, gambling, and their related vocations were so obviously practiced it was hard for me to believe that they were against the law. So she's experiencing all these things, that all these illegal activities, and they're happening all around her. Um, and stamps, of course, they're poor, and here they've got more money, and they're more free spending. And so more money means more opportunity. It adds to the luxuries and things that she hasn't experienced before. And it speeds up the text. It speeds up everything. It speeds up life. Um, before she's protected from adult activities and conversation. And now she's being included in adult activities and conversation and entertainment. So these, this exposure to adult lifestyles provides opportunities for learning and new experiences, but it speeds everything up for her. So we just really have a faster pace to the text um, and what she's experiencing. Probably not a positive thing. Um, today, what I want you to do is this is I want you to take some time to do some vocabulary. So um, our unit three uh, words, one through 10, vocabulary cards for the words abridge, adherent, altercation, cherubic, condone, descent, imminent, exercise, fabricate, and gluttony. We've done uh, vocab cards before, front and back. They should look something like this. You wanna turn these in on Monday. I will see them in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna see them all at one time when I come back, but today's a chance to do that. Um, you can read ahead in the book if you want to. I don't want you to necessarily yet um, try to finish these cards today in class. That's about it. Um, I want to talk about 11 and 12, which is going to get pretty heavy next week. Um, and I will check in with you on Monday. Okay, guys?